All right, this is an inventory video at FMI Bases, August 3rd, 2014. So this is an ebony fingerboard laminate. This is an ebony fingerboard laminate with well-planed sides and back. This is a Shen SB100 with a lacquer finish. This is a carved top uh, hybrid with well-planed maple sides and back. Shin SB90 Blonde. This is Shin SB80 that we got with no neck fixed. We fixed it up, made it removable, did a stain and an oil finish on it. That's a Shin SB80. This is a basic base with painted maple fingerboard. It's our tuxedo base now. All white down the front for the fingerboard bridge and tailpiece. Dressy looking rockabilly bass. Some of you can play this jazz bass with steel string. This is a K bass that's got some fixed stuff done to it. Innovation nylon core strings. This is an Epiphone. Huge voice. This is a King Morton 1960. King Morton 1957, removable neck, fixed up, still a roughed up looking base, we're going to look at just leaving it that way, it makes it cheaper, somebody wants it, get it cheaper. This needs a new bridge, put on, boom, we're ready to go. Then we have some electric uprights here, this is an all carved uh, magnetic pickup with keys all built in, they blend together. This is a couple of eminence removable necks with custom finishes. Satin black with a pale tan cream colored pinstripe. This one's got a tobacco burst like a Gibson. We got a Palatine electric up right here. We got a few bases back there that need this and that. That's everything we just need setup. It's a carb top German that needs a neck. That's another ebony fingerboard that needs setups. That's a removable neck uh, ebony fingerboard laminate. That is uh, just an in the white, meaning no finish at all, ebony fingerboard. Not on the 40. And over here we have a basic paint of maple fingerboard base. It's a MB47 black. Uh, satin finish with a little white pinstriping. And our, that's my base has logo on it. And this is a K base in 1949. Poor Men's Poison played this for a while. And it's got the innovation. Uh, Super servers on it, nylon core strings. So, rock really set up black base with an ebony fingerboard. This is a Milano MB40 ebony fingerboard base. It's on layaway to uh, Gabriel Gonzalez. This is another Milano MB40. Ebony fingerboard. This is a 20 to 30 year old Chinese base. Picks up the exterior and painted it. Gorgeous looking rock and base base, one could call it. This is another K base that needs to be finished shaping and setting up. This is another K base, it's trying to be ready to go. This is a Milano and before that we did a blonde oil finish on. string bass owned by the father of slap bass and jazz pioneer Bill Johnson. This is the 1958 American Standard that somebody painted like a blackish gray. We plan on stripping this and uh, bringing it back to a natural wood base. Loose. This is a 1937 I believe it is American Standard. Gorgeous sounding, gorgeous looking bass. It was actually converted to a lefty, so the bass bar is on the opposite side of the usual. It's still strung up as a righty right now. So once we take time to reverse it, get it set up as a lefty, strung up that way, it's 
lot of the sound considerably better. This is a bass we're repairing for a guy. This is a carved top crisper that we already repaired for a guy. This is a basic Milano white bass. And basic Milano. Still string bass. And here we have about a 130 year old cello here. We need to replace this maple fingerboard with a, an ebony one. And then a smattering of other cellos. We've got an Eastman 200 there, and a Shin there, and a few basic laminates, some three quarter vintage ones. And uh, that's it for now.